rational function by definition is a function of the form f of x is equal to n of x all over d of x, where n and d are both polynomials and d of x should not be equal to zero. So basically, ang rational functions is parang fraction lang or fraction na kung saan ang inyong fraction ay polynomials or yung numerator nyo ay polynomial at yung inyong denominator ay polynomial din. So ito yung mga examples ng mga rational function in its graph. So I have here my f of x which is 2x plus 1 all over x plus 1 na nagbibigay ng graph na ganitong itsura or ganitong fo form kapag kaginraph nyo siya, siya using a graphing calculator. At yung ating f of x is equal to 4 all over x squared plus 1 will have a rational function or a graph of a rational function that look like this. At yung ating third example, which is f of x is equal to 2 all over x minus 1, quantity squared has a graph looking like this. Now, kung mapapansin nyo yung ating tatlong examples ng mga rational function, yung kanilang behavior sa graph nila ay iba-iba. Hindi katulad ng quadratic function na kung saan alam natin na parabola lang siya, opening upwards or downwards, or a linear equation na kung saan meron tayong positive or negative slope. However, sa isang rational function, mapapansin nyo na meron tayo ditong mga linya na represented by the red dotted lines at yan yung mga tinatawag na asymptote. So yan yung isa sa mga unique features ng rational function. Mapapansin nyo na meron kang asymptote at yung inyong mga graph ay nag-iiba-iba according sa itsura ng inyong mga fraction. So, for today, ang gagawin natin is kung paano mag-analyze at pagkuha ng mga asymptotes, domain, at saka ng behavior ng isang graph ng isang rational functions. So, let's have our first example on analyzing a rational function. Na ang unang-una nating gagawin sa pag-analyze ng rational function is ang pagkuha ng domain ng isang rational function given by f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x squared minus 4. Tulad nga nun sa definition ng isang rational function, kinakailangan daw na ang denominator natin ay hindi mag equal to 0. So our goal for this particular problem is to find the value of x wherein yung ating denominator is mag equal to 0 para maiwasan natin yung value na yun na mag uh, bibigay ng discontinuity dun sa ating graph. So, ang domain is basically the values of x such that the denominator will not be equal to zero. So, madali lang or napakasimple lang ng pagkuha ng domain ng isang rational function. The first step is to set our denominator to zero and then we will solve for x for that particular expression para mahanap natin yung mga values ng x na magbibigay ng zero value para dito sa ating denominator. At yun yung gagawin natin. Since ang denominator ng ating rational function is x squared minus 4, we need to set it equal to zero. And by setting it equal to zero, that means we need to solve for x. Now, ang x squared minus 4 ay isang special case ng binomial or tinatawag nating sum and difference of two squares. So, ito yung ating difference of two squares na kung saan pwede natin siyang i-factor out into x minus 2 times x plus 2. At kapag fin-factor out natin siya using the zero product property, we will have the values of x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 2. So therefore, ang nakuha natin sa step number 1 ay ang mga values ng 2 na kung saan yung ating, or yung mga values ng x na kung saan yung ating expression na x squared minus 4 ay magta-turn into 0. So yung step number 2 natin is to write out the domain of our function formally. Now, to do this, we found out dun sa step number 1 na pagka naging values mo ng x is equal to positive 2 or x is equal to negative 2, magta-turn yung inyong denominator equal to 0 na hindi natin or iniiwasan natin mangyari. Therefore, ang ating domain will be all real numbers except for x is equal to positive 2 and x equal to negative 2. So, yan yung basic um, concept ng domain. You just need to figure out um, certain numbers or certain um, values ng x na kung saan maiiwasan nating mag-turn yung denominator to zero. Now, mapapansin nyo dito sa aking sagot na yung aking um, sentence dito, change ko siya sa isang mathematical um, statement. So, ito yung pagsulat nyo ng domain in sentence form at in symbol form. So, here, yung symbol na ito, ito yung for all real number such that x is not equal to plus or minus 2. So, ito yung isa sa paraan ng pagsulat ng domain ng isang function tulad nito. 
Yung ating susunod na example, yung ating function naman is p of x is equal to 3x all over x squared minus 10x minus 24. At ang ating goal is to solve for or to find the domain of this rational function. So ang una nating step is to get or to use the denominator which is x squared minus 10x minus 24 and equate it to 0. Now if you equate it to 0, mapapansin nyo na itong ating quadratic function ay factorable. So kapag pinactor natin yung ating quadratic equation, we'll have x plus 2 times x minus 12 as the factor of your quadratic function equal to 0. And by using the zero product property, sa separate natin siya into two equations. So yung x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 12 is equal to 0 which gives you x is equal to negative 2 and x equal to 12. So yung domain ng ating rational function ng example number 2 will be all real numbers except for x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 12. Or sa symbol form, pwede natin siyang isulat ng ganito. So for all real number such that x is not equal to negative 2 or x is not equal to positive 12.